Hi, it's Julian from South Street Chiropractic. I'm in with Steve. Um, we've been um, treating Steve uh, over the last few weeks and everything's, you've just said, everything's settled down quite nicely. Um, Steve, uh, like me, has suffered historically from surfers here because we're passionate about going in the sea regularly and uh, all the, at some point you're going to get the infection on you, you just, and then have to manage that. So we'll run through and look at the jaws and cranial stuff. We've been managing some left wrist stuff, well, that's all settled down. Yeah. And you say you're just feeling a bit tight. You still doing right. a bit of bag work? Are you still doing that? Yeah, it flares up after it. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Favourite technique on the bag? Just hitting it. Just hitting it. It's the right answer. Knees. Yeah, knees. Okay. Side knees up and, uh, yeah. What's that one? What's that Korean one where they use the knees a lot? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Kind of kickboxing style. Maybe Thai. Thai boxing. Thai boxing, okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't muddle those two up, kickboxing and tie boxing. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, so. Are you running the new trainers in yet? Yeah? Yeah, I'm saving them special for here. Okay, cool. Yeah, good. A uh, little bit there, difference. Oh, millimeters. Hardly anything in it. Right, one one little uh, shortcut, if it's not really a shortcut, is, is to go straight for the anterior sacral base, anterior sacrum, and see if you've got there. Yeah, and if I am um, pulling straight uh, inferior, see that really brings out that leg length. Yeah, if I push on the sacrum, push it straight superior, that clears it. Clears it. So, lovely. So, let's go straight for that one. Find in PSIS, come across onto S1. I think you were asking me about this the other day, weren't you? Bit tender in there? Yeah. yeah. Off the net. Okay. So right hand up behind your back. And swap your hands around. Both hands up behind your back together. Both that down by size. Yeah, there's definitely some tightness in that up right side. I can feel it. Take your right hand up by your face. The bit that you can't really kind of see, it's difficult to see on the film, is like this the tension, and you get used to actually feeling that tension shift as I'm lifting. Um, big deep breath in and just hold. And now, and left hand up as well. Cool, both back down by size. Just turn your head to the right. Lift the right shoulder up off the couch and back down. Shrug both shoulders up to your ears, back down. Squeeze the right elbow flat against your side and let go. Squeeze the left one in and let go. Okay, shrug your shoulders up and roll them back. Head back into the center. So, for those that were carefully watching that change there, there was a T6 uh, left, a T4 right, and actually slightly bilateral um, scapular pan. I tend to associate that with tiredness and fatigue. I uh, don't know if that, yeah. uh, <laughs> and not sleeping, um, or being woken up, probably more to the point. Yeah. So, um, somebody's got a bilateral scapula, and they've got kids under, probably 10, and you see that very clear bilateral scapula, uh, you know, something's going on, and, uh, well, windy nights. Yeah, indeed, actually, yeah, we've had um, Storm Arwen causing chaos on several levels, it's still blowing, isn't it? Um, Yet to meet anybody who says, oh, I, I do like some sleep deprivation. It really does me good. I'm so much better after I've had absolutely no sleep at all. But, uh, yeah, of course, the very opposite. Um, I was chatting with one uh, client this morning who, um, yep, yeah, had a bit of a, an issue, um, which has definitely been interfering with the sleep. And he comes in and he's just, he's angry. He's just angry. And you know, we, we know it's not him. It's not the real him. 
and uh, he's, uh, everything's improved, he's much better. And uh, we were talking about it this morning. It's just how much uh, it improved it's how much uh, easier to manage. And see, you said, he said, yeah, but it's, it's not really nice for everybody else. He said, yeah, you're right, but that's one of the, uh, one of the great things of being adjusted. Most people do sleep better afterwards, um, including me. Um, lift up your head and back down. Tuck your chin down to your chest, back to centre. Push your face down into the couch and let go. Okay, uh, so, let's bite your teeth together, and that go. Open mouth nice and wide, and that go. Push your lower jaw straight to the right, and that go. And that's the um, lateral, we were talking of, that will involve the pterygoid muscles, but seems to be okay on that right one. Uh, push uh, to the left, and there you go. Okay, nothing on that one either. Push your bottom teeth over your top teeth. And there you go. And push the tip of your tongue to the back of the roof of your mouth. And there you go. Not really anything going on there. Okay, temporals. We can actually just look for an anterior temporal rotation. Oh, blimey. There we go. Is that nice and clear? Whoa. That's, that's the earache side. Yeah, clearly. Um, so your um, external auditory meatus goes through the temporal bone into the uh, internal auditory meatus, the inner ear. If there is a torsion in that temporal bone, it's just going to twist the whole structure. And how much does it need to twist before it starts complaining? Well, not a lot is the answer. Okay, two points of adjustment. I'll swap places with the camera here. So, so you can either cut, so you're trying to get a go, it's, go, it's going round it like this. So it, it's gone anterior and we're trying to rotate it posterior. Um, one, two, maybe. I know I've done this on Steve before and he's been okay with two. Some people will do one. I kind of like kind of two. Uh, on setting one, one, and then two. Yeah, you can see. Definitely a thrust going through that. Okay, when you're trying to uh, try to shift that, that suture, get some movement in there. Okay, um, and then it was the right hip, wasn't it? So push the right leg outwards, and that go. Piriformis, sorry, no, that's glutes, this is piriformis. Push inwards, and that go. Push both knees down into the couch, and that go. And there's your tight psoas muscle. Right, let's just turn you over onto your back. I'll just grab a pillow. So, drawing a line between umbilicus and the um, ASI is, in the textbook, it's one adjustment on the psoas. Uh, I found I quite like to do three, so I kind of come an inch across on uh, track. So I'm definitely getting, obviously, two divisions of We've got psoas and iliopsoas, and I just want to make sure I get those. So I'm just tracking that down, yeah, and that's really going to affect. Yeah, definitely feel it tighten up right here, especially if you've been giving the bag some grief. Thanks. Yeah. They're all naughty, aren't they? Those bags. They need to get sorted out. Yeah. Good. See you next time. Thanks, Julian.